We are incredibly lucky to have this terrain so close to home. Take a look at it. It's difficult to do well on rocky terrain when you're first learning to ride an enduro bike. However, once you get the hang of it, it can be surprisingly simple. Today we will discuss how to improve your skills on rocky terrain and take them to the next level. I'll show you how to make things easier on yourself. We will discuss body position while driving, tire pressure, and adjusting the suspension on a motorcycle. First and foremost, we will discuss how to adjust the motorcycle for this type of terrain, which is critical. If you have too much pressure in your tires, it will be much more difficult to find grip on the rock, but your motorcycle will also feel hard, as if your suspension has been improperly adjusted. For this type of terrain, I recommend 0.8 bar pressure in the front tire and 0.4 bar pressure in the back. If the stones are slick and wet, you must also keep in mind that tire selection is critical. The softer the tire, it will give you more grip. Otherwise, I prefer soft rubber in the front and always prefer super soft in the back. Also, if you intend to ride this terrain frequently, you should be aware that it damages your enduro bike every time you fall or hit a rock. As a result, it is essential to use as much protection as possible while riding a motorcycle. Engine guards, disc guards, and radiator guards. Save your parts and save your money. As you can see, crashes will happen, so it is critical to equip your motorcycle with protective parts. It is initially very expensive, but it is well worth it in the long run. The position of the body is determined by how quickly you move through such difficult terrain. Because beginner riders move slowly and have poor balance on the motorcycle, most hobby riders sit while riding through difficult terrain. On my channel, you have a great video about how to improve your balance skill. It is difficult to ride over rocky terrain while sitting. I recommend that you stand as much as possible because your knees act as additional shock absorbers. However, if you lack experience and are feeling insecure, it is best to sit back and relax. If you are a short rider, you can lower your suspension with a lowering kit. You must also consider where to place your foot when necessary. To make driving easier, always try to find a stone to stand with foot when you stop. As you gain confidence, practice standing on the motorcycle while riding through difficult terrain. With these trainings, you will gain the confidence and knowledge necessary to become a better driver. Of course, everything takes time and a lot of determination. You won't see results overnight. You need to lean your body more toward the back of the motorcycle as the terrain becomes more challenging in order to maintain control of the bike and to get maximum grip on rear tire. It is also very important that you are not a lazy person. In order to maintain a very good balance while driving, you need to move around quite a bit. When you go back and forth between two body riding positions, you'll notice that the feeling you get improves the more you do it. You will eventually become an excellent driver in challenging terrain if you put in the necessary amount of practice. I should also mention that it is not necessary to stand all of the time. If you notice that you are struggling while standing, you can sit down. Normally, I stand on the motorcycle when driving in second gear, but when riding in first gear, I sit a lot because I usually turn the motorcycle in place or go very slowly.
What is important is to always maintain a constant rate of movement. It is less important to go fast. It is extremely difficult to restart in such difficult terrain. So try everything to avoid stopping, including finding balance with your body and legs. As Graham Jarvis once said, anyone can go fast, but the skill is to go very slowly. Controlling the clutch and throttle is critical in this terrain. If you don't have good clutch control, your motorcycle will frequently shut down. And if you don't have good gas control, you will frequently lose grip on the ground, making driving difficult. It is critical that your driving be as smooth as possible. With this style, you can drive for an extended period of time without becoming tired. Instead of driving aggressively, try to improve your technique. It will be worth when you see results. When things don't go as planned, it's best to take a deep breath and a few moments to collect your thoughts. No matter how skilled a driver we may be, we are all susceptible to frustration. Just keep your cool, getting aggressive will get us nowhere but into trouble. Holding the handlebar too firmly will cause you to lose your balance, so be gentle. I plan to make a training video on the topic soon, as I believe it will be useful to many drivers who are looking to take their abilities to the next level. I used to hold the motorcycle a lot and just want it to go where I wanted it when I was a beginner. But it doesn't have to be that way. Simply drive and maintain your speed to move forward and sometimes let the motorcycle choose the path. It's important to just keep moving forward. Of course, do not act as if you are not in command of the motorcycle. Look far ahead and think about which path to choose. Enduro is a very specific sport. You need to have enough strength in your body, also to have the condition to endure all this. But it is also important to think a lot and make the right decisions quickly. Try to look ahead while driving, think about which path to choose, because you can gain or lose a lot of time with the right or wrong choice. While you're riding with friends, it's not that important, but when you're competing in a race, it will mean a lot to your result. I really hope that these tips will be helpful to you, and I'll talk to you soon. Leave a comment below with your suggestions for what you'd like to see me cover in the next video.